Making a way forward of delisting the games. Oh. Yeah, uh, hey. So, this edition of GWC Plays, today I'm playing DuckTales Remastered, and unfortunately it's not under the best circumstances. <laughs> so, of the time of this recording, this game just got delisted. Merry platform, so PS3, Wii U, 360, and Steam. And it sucks. <laughs> it always sucks when the game gets delisted from a digital store. Now, the one good positive is that this game did have a physical release. Uh, the unfortunate uh, part of that is that because of this fact, the prices have now gone way up on the game. So you might be spending now like 50, 60 bucks compared to like maybe the 15 it would have costed you like three months ago. But that's just the unfortunate reality of how these things go. So yeah, I'm going to be playing DuckTales Remastered today. Now, I have not played the remastered version of this. I've played the original a lot. Like, DuckTales 1 and 2 in the NES are, are classics. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to dive right in with this. Uh, new game. Oh, we'll go medium. All right, let's go. Oh boy. Cuss me, Hilt. Me money been alarm. Quick, Duckworth. Get the limo. I, and I love that they got they got Get Alan you know, the voice you, the voice actor from the beginning to He was like in his nineties when he did this. Hurry. The pedal is to the middle. I think this was the last uh was this his last performance? I I can't remember. I remember that was the big thing when they announced this game. They were like, We got him back. They can stand between Scrooge McDuck and his three cubic acres of cash. They've got another thing coming. Okay. All right. It is new. That that's the move right there. That little cane. That little cane hop, like. Move so good. Not the security yeah. system. G balls. <laughs> I'll save you. Yep. You can see my jacked up uh, setup. I, I tried getting this setup with a controller, but uh, this game doesn't accept PS4. Or it seems any USB controllers, so. <laughs> I would need a 360 pad, probably. So I gotta play uh, just keyboard controls. So, Huey, what are you doing here? We and Dewey. Unka Scrooge. <laughs> okay, still got that. I love that they brought the sound back too. Like that sound was extremely iconic, so it's like nice. Oh boy. The controls are throwing me off. <laughs> How I have it set up. 
I'm almost like maybe I should uh, change my stuff. So jump and the attack are like close to each other. I may do that because, uh, yeah, hold on. Let me, let me see if I can, oh, I, wait, actually, is that the option right there? Is that, is that if I just press down? It, Okay, I see what it is. So it's pretty much like the original. Rather than it being tied to a button, you have to press the combination of down to do it. Hey kid, you got a sandwich or something? <clears throat> Let me go, you big old bum! Not even for an afternoon stack. Big time it troubled me. Get away from him, you gluttonous goon. Sorry, Scroogey. Not a chance. Here's like 3D. You saved me, Uncle Scrooge. I did. Are you hurt, lad? Nah, I'm fine. But I saw Louie heading up the stairs with about a thousand Beagle Boys right behind him. Stay here. I'll handle this. It's a shame they never did DuckTales 2. I, I would have loved uh, a remaster of that one. Like, that one's really good. First game is good as well. It's got the, like, the iconic music. and But I never hear people talk about number two. It's like, man, number two's pretty great as well. But that they never did anything after this and that they got delisted means they probably, they probably like, oh, it's not worth renewing, which I kind of want to get into that for a bit. But this kind of brings this discussion of just like developers really not uh, future proofing their titles. I know in this case, it's more that the license expired and like, really, at the end of the day, I don't know how much the license was to renew this game. Like, they might, it might have been more. It's not worth like the cost, the added cost to do it. But it's like, man, you you guys have actually <clears throat> like handicapped the game. Like, you know, it's physical, but it's gonna be hard to find a copy at some point in the future. Like, one false move and I'm a roast duck. I don't know. Like the one that still sucks is uh never beat us, Scrooge. When there's uh the Scott Pilgrim Scott Pilgrim game. Dang it. When I get the gold, but the Scott I'll Pilgrim game one sucked just because it's like, well there is no physical copy, so if you if you don't own if you don't own it, then you're not playing it, which it's just ridiculous. This just sucks. I never played it. I played like the demo, and then now there's no way for me to ever play that game unless I just find I find like a, a copy somewhere on a system, or I think it was on Steam. So maybe somebody has some like super jerry rigged version up of it on it. But it, it's a reason why I'm such a big like fan of physical media. Because you know what, at the end of the day, when all these digital storefronts go, 
you will still have your physical copy that'll work like in 30 years i will be able to at least play some of the games on my shelf still now in 30 years some of my digital games i'm not so sure because when these systems start turning their online off at the end of the day there'll be thousands of games that are just straight up gone So, so I don't know. I actually did a uh, discussion on this for a recent class. I did a a persuasive speech on. Your safe is securely suspended. Dang it! But I did a speech on like physical media and just why like it's important. Kind of just to persuade the audience, like oh maybe. Like, this is why you'd want to go with physical media than, like, digital, and why it's kind of important for preservation rights. I'm getting beat on this. Pretty embarrassing. Your safe is securely suspended. This should be it. Yep. I don't know how I knew, but I I just knew. Curse you, my duck! This ain't the last you'll see of me. So when people were like, "Oh, I'd love a new assist on all digital system," it sounds like a nightmare to me. Why in the world was he interested in this? Like, wow, if your system breaks, or say your account gets banned, or you like. Something happens to you and you can't access your account. There's all your games. Like some kind of secret it's already happened. Voice, There's been people voice. who've uh, gotten their Xbox Live accounts banned. <clears throat> and they had a lot of digital games on there that they just lost. And it's like, well, I, I guess there goes thousands of dollars down the drain. I guess that's why I was making it. It just kind of sucks to see, like... Good games lost to time due to dis digital, and I, I understand in a lot of cases why a company would go digital, especially for indie games, because it's way cheaper to release your game on a digital storefront than getting it a physical release. Like that's really where limited run games comes in, or either the publisher, but where you're having these small studios with no publisher, digital is is like the way to go in that in that case. And that one I can't really complain, but. When it's bigger studios, it's like, yeah, come on, like, no you, you should do something at least with that. Well, according to the Junior Woodchuck's guidebook, to get there we'd have to take about 537 million steps straight up till we reach the moon. Oh, you mean the it. moon moon? It looks that way, lads. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? That treasure's not going to discover itself. <laughs> Hey, we already know where I'm going. C come on. It's a long way to the moon, lads, but the green cheese of longevity will make it worth the trip. Up, up, and away. <laughs> It's interesting with the stuff they're changing, like that whole little tutorial section with the boss. Like that—that that was not in the original. It was pretty much you start the game up, boom, map screen. There you go. It's interesting to see where they like <clears throat> kind of added and just Gosh, changed some stuff. I've never been to the moon before. <laughs> well, when it comes to space cadets, Fenton. You're a natural. <laughs> now, Gyro, why in blazes are we chewing this awful blue muck? <laughs> why, that's Oxy Chew, Mr. McDuck. It's my latest invention, oxygen flavored taffy. Five good chews, and you can breathe on the lunar surface without a spacesuit. Oh, and it tastes great, too. That, Gyro, is a matter of opinion. <laughs> now, which way to the green cheese? What do you mean? Isn't it all around us? Yeah? How do you figure? Everybody knows the whole moon's made of green cheese. 
Well, that's what my dear mama said. And it'd take a feather brain like you to believe her. <laughs> Ugh, sometimes I don't know what I'm gonna... Wait, what's that? Look, here's someone who could give us directions. Hello? Ah, Mr. McDuck! Help! Screw just look at him. <laughs> You live we by the cause, you die by the cause. Really? We do if you want to find that treasure of yours, Mr. McDuck. Fenton was carrying the gizmo duck suit. That's the only thing we've got powerful enough to break into the moon vault. All right, fine. Stay here and guard the supplies while I look for that bumbling bookkeeper. Yes! A theme so good. Pe people, some people haven't even like played this game. They're like, "What's that? That moon theme? Good. What's that game from? Ducktales? Huh? Yeah, this theme is, is really good. <laughs> it, it it's a classic NES like t like this song. like the same spaceship that took off with Fenton. Well, <laughs> I guess this means I'm invited on board. I wonder what people... I need to go back and look. I remember people were really excited for this game. I wonder if some people were like mad that there are so many like cut scenes and that the gameplay kind of stops. I was going by the look of it. It looks really good. <clears throat> looks good. The music so far. This is only the, like, the first stage, but I've already heard this rendition, but like, everything about this, like they really took and wanted to craft okay we want to take this and like put it up to a more more today's standards of game kind of up up the graphics and add more to it like they, they really did a good job it'd really be unfortunate if the reason this <clears throat> this didn't get DuckTales 2 is because it didn't sell well and if that's the case and I feel really bad and it's like I should have bought it when I had a chance because there's there were a lot of occasions where I saw it and I was like man I really want to play this and I just man what they want me there I really wanted to play it and I just never picked it up and kind of makes me think like twice on certain things of like games I want to play and I just leave like not getting But I'm sure my one purchase wouldn't have changed anything. Call a comeback. Oh! <laughs> well, that one that went good. You're like, oh, I see you died. to do it. 
This is worth buying the game right alone. You get to swim in the gold coins. That's worth the purchase alone. God, and this, and this little remix is good too. Oh, let me, let me check out one more level. Uh, let me check out the Amazon. Yeah, I will say it's uh, <laughs> it's not, not the not the easiest uh, way to play this on keyboard. <clears throat> we'll say not not easy playing uh, platformers on on a keyboard. Thanks for the lift, Launch Bud. No problemo. Lift is one of my favorite principles of aerodynamics. Oh, say, you got your radio, Mr. McD? Hey, of course I do. Great. Then I'll be your eyes in the sky. Look, I'd be happy if you just remember this one. That is the, the level they showed off when they first premiered this. What an airhead! You looked at uh, Screw Attack hey, Gaming Convention. I think it was 2013. I remember it was like the grand final of like this uh, game tournament they had going on. Where it was like you had to play, I guess, like NBA Jam, Tetris, and, and some other game. All I remember about it, I remember Dark Side Phil somehow managed to get into like the finals. I was like, how did he do that? But he somehow made it, and then I think he like lost on this stage pretty badly. I believe the finals were, uh, the finals were, um, uh, I think Killer Instinct, if I remember. Coin depicting a nightingale. You haven't stumbled across a pizza joint down there, have you, Mr. McD? I'm getting kind of hungry up here. I'm not even going to dignify that question with a response. <laughs> no, I, I still have yet to, to see a single episode of that new DuckTales series that they have. But from what I've heard, apparently it, it's pretty good. At some point, I may have to try and give like an episode, like a watch of an episode or two, just to see. But, but I've heard pretty good things. I was like, yeah, it, 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 it looks, it's good to hear of a good DuckTales <clears throat> cartoon in 20, like, 19. Because I don't know uh, what... What other cartoons are going on right now? I know uh, Adventure Time, which I've never watched a single Another episode, coin. ended. Regular show, which is pretty alright, ended. Steven vs. the Universe is still on. That's got like 20 people mad. <laughs> Um, actually, it's, uh, Steven Universe. <laughs> Get it right. Aha! A coin bearing the image of the Queen's horse. Ha, yeah, I feel people probably would sure. get really, ups like, annoyed with this. Tell, with just the all the cutscenes and kind of stopping the gameplay. Yeah, if you've, if you've ever uh, wanted to play 
<clears throat> the NES DuckTales games. I, I still give them pretty high recommendations. They're still good games. Like, sadly, this is delisted, but even, even still, this is still really good. <laughs> This place is a mess. Where's Mrs. Beakley when you need her? Oh! Ugh, my arms are getting tired. Yeah, well, I'll just have to... I'll just leave for that. Look at this! An ancient coin with the image of a scythe. It must represent a good harvest. This is Launchpad, calling Mr. McD. What is it, Launchpad? I'm running a little low on fuel up here. Well, where are the extra fuel canisters? <laughs> well, that's why I'm calling you, boss. I checked the glove compartment, but all I found was gloves. Oh. You'd best find those fuel canisters, but well, the next thing you'll be flying is a model airplane. Okay, okay. Last time I asked you for help. Is that a promise? Yeah, I'm really, de <laughs> really de like enjoying like these little like little spots of just like stopping and talking. Like, I I know to some people it probably is like really like annoying because like I just want to play the game and it keeps stopping. Well, no, it's just, it's just cool to hear Alan Young again and just... Ow, ow, ow. If that spider, like, animation, how it looks right there... It's like... Rip that into it's a Cuphead right there. Especially that because uh, for this recording, I had to play this on a way lower resolution, so it's not as sharp. So it has that more, it has a more like a rough around the edges look for the animations. <clears throat> it's like Cuphead mode, lower the game to 140p. Launchpad, what was that? Ugh, <laughs> guy. <laughs> oh, I'm doing. Real, I'm showing off this game really badly, and I apologize. <laughs> Hold on one second. Okay, here we go. Oops. God, stop, John. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Miss Scrooge. <laughs> All right, well, I I think I will call it here on it. It's a little shorter GWC plays, but I just wanted to play it for a little bit. And you know what? I'm really sad I never played this game when it was actually out. Because it's really cool. From someone who played the original a lot growing up, it's just it's like, oh, they, they got everything pretty spot on. The music sounds great. I think it looks really good. I, I like that they have all the voice actors back. and it, It's a pretty fun little title. And it's a shame that now... Uh, not too many people can can really play it, even though it, it still is out there, but for, for a little more money. But yeah, this is still a really fun game. I I still recommend it if you can find a physical copy or uh, the the black market, other places. Oh, uh, then uh, go go get it. it. It's a fun game. If if you can't get this, the original is like I said, 
is still a really good game, and the second game is also still really good. So, so you have options. So uh, I'm going to end this in a duck blur and call it right here. So thank you very much for watching. DuckTales Remastered, I salute you. You're a good game. You're a very good game.